Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this tarot reading right here, right now, is specifically for Leo, the king of the jungle, <laughs> for the month of December 2017. Hey everyone, once again, I'm Sunny, and welcome to the Sunny Side. Just a reminder that I am a professional astrologer, and I do give tarot readings, I'm doing it right now, and I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada, and we are having a sale here right now until the end of the year on readings. Everything is 50% off. If you'd like a personal reading or if you want to get one for your friend, then simply message me at the email above or have a look in the description box below to see what's going on, what the prices are. Just a reminder that everything is 50% off. And uh, that's the action. Also, I also do lots and lots of live streams here where I read the weekly horoscopes that I write for you King. <laughs> Before they come out in the newspaper, which is kind of neat. Also, they um, they shuffle the cards here. What else is going on? That's about it. <laughs> oh, please share the video if you haven't done so yet. You know, every little bit helps, and I super appreciate all of the support. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more, tune into the live stream. There's lots of fun stuff that happens there. All right, so what's going on? I'm looking at the astro chart right here. This is a tarot reading. But uh, I like to tell you a little bit about the astro, what's going on right now. And as for Leo, right now, astrologically, Leo might be butting heads with their words. <laughs> Leo might be coming on a little bit strong. For the end of November, beginning of December, Leo's got to watch for traffic accidents. Leo's got to watch their car, that their car doesn't blow up or leak oil or some kind of silliness like that. Just stay on top of everything, right, Leo? And shortly, throughout December, the energy is going to shift and click over. And then Leo's going to have to watch out for problems at home. They're going to have to watch out for fighting with the family. They're going to have to watch out for unexpected rent increases. And they're going to have to watch out for accidents at home. You know, all that kind of stuff. They're going to watch that their mom doesn't get sick over the holidays. All that kind of stuff. Now, for the good news, Leo is turning into for the rest of the year 2017 december anyways is love partner number one doo -doo 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 -doo. so if leo's looking for love december is definitely the time to find it and um it also means uh, it's a great time for leo's to have be making babies so if leo's want to get pregnant this december is the time to do it it's try i know Dece leo's had a tough time as far as relationships have been concerned for um uh, all of 2017 and it's still gonna be a bit of a struggle you know you're not gonna have you know a lot of romances left your life so to speak but for December anyways love should find Leo it should be a lot of it should you should have a very romantic holiday season and a wonderful uh, a wonderful end of the year <laughs> according to the Astro anyways which is right there on the chart right there so <laughs> you guys want to know what that I'm staring at all right, Leo, let's get down to some action. Let's see what the cards say for you. Do, 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 do. We have a bunch of Leos here on the sunny side, you know? the uh, For those who don't know, I can say a couple of sunny sider names. Like one of my Patreon subscri supporters, subscribers here, Karen, f down in Seattle, is a, is a Leo. I hope you know wonderful things for her for the end of the year yfl our buddy over in florida she's a leo <laughs> you know loud and proud king of the jungle is obviously a leo and um obviously i'm forgetting a whole bunch of people little aj up on the wall is a leo <laughs> and um you know and um our friend who doesn't always get a chance to tune in but chad <laughs> you know and uh <laughs> soon to be maybe my brother-in-law <laughs> he's turning into he's a leo and uh anyways that's the action everybody wishing everybody all the, okay that's the action those are the leos here we go straight up leo this is um the lovers so the lovers although this card doesn't say it and some decks say it and some cards don't say it uh for in some decks you know all the the representations are a little bit different of the story here but it can mean a love triangle in play over Christmas and you're gonna be super romantic over the holidays so Leo this card is kind of apropos to what you're potentially going through and meaning you're gonna have a decision now in astrology this is not astrology obviously it's the tarot but in astrology uh, uh, Venus 
uh, represents love and money. How can you say that? Sunny is in love, the planet of all evil, and money is... <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> Venus is all about attraction, you know? And depending on where it falls in your astral chart, your astral chart, you're going to attract money or you're going to attract love. <laughs> you know, it shows where you're going to make your money. It also shows where you're going to find love. Anyways, in this situation here, Leo, it's a situation of loving energy. You know, it is harmonious. It's a completion of energy. And although some people don't talk about it, you know, the, it's a complete kind of energy <laughs> how do i how many different ways can i say the same thing <laughs> in the same words <laughs> it's complete energy it's a complete energy leo <laughs> anyways leo what's going on is you have to make a decision it may be a romantic decision right it may be but it may just be a decision where your heart is involved so it may be a decision about a career it may be a decision about a person it may be a decision about a thing you know right now towards the end of november first week of december before mercury goes retrograde you're going to be in a situation where you know you're going to be looking at your car you know transportation situation is going to arise do you want to let go of what type of car do you want to buy you know you're going to go with you know reliable car you're going to go with the flashy car you know good on gas you know, not so good on gas that's the kind of thing that's in play here are you going to go you know if you're having problems in relationships which you many leos may have been having in the last month then are you going to reconcile? Are you going to move on? You know, it's that kind of decision kind of thing that's in play. Now, in the story of Tarot, Tarot's cruising along, you know, walking down the path of life, so to speak, and he gets to a crossroads. And, you know, and there's an angel there, so to speak, and the angel's like, yo, Tarot, what are you going to do, Playa? You know, you're going to make your left? Are you going to go with what you know? Are you going to go in the direction you thought you were always going to go? Are you going to branch off into this completely new direction and you're going to are you going to embrace that and that's the story of this particular card that's where this card comes into play moving in either direction so now i know some of the cards talk about a love triangle but all it means is you got to make a decision and whatever it is you know are you going to go with your heart or you're going to go with what you think and um whatever happens it's going to be an emotional situation and there's a high possibility for a reconciliation and there's a major possibility for true love to totally be your action oh shit <sighs> well I'm, i know you don't want to see this <laughs> i know you don't want to see this i'm being optimistic with this card there's a lot about bad stuff we could talk about in this card but i'm being optimistic but this card means change is going to be forced upon you this is the tower card in um the story this card alludes to building some grandiose superstructure so to speak without proper foundation it can be it can mean a relationship or a situation that has occurred where it's not properly grounded you know it's not necessarily built upon substance maybe a relationship that's not necessarily built upon love but definitely built upon going out and having a good time and being all flashy and showy and fun which is kind of a leal thing to do so it's not really the worst thing in the world except that in the story this in this part of the story all those hopes dreams aspiration and plans that you really wanted are going to come crashing down it's going to be forced upon you and what's happening is it's not a good thing or it's a not a bad thing it's a situation where like you know you went for the glitz you know you bought the glitz you bought the you know you bought into the action but there was really no substance there so in relationships it's kind of like falling for all the pretty words like someone is like oh blah, 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 and you're like oh that's so sweet you know maybe i'll see where this goes and it turns out that doesn't go anywhere <laughs> because there's they don't necessarily love you leo just saying and finally cancer energy is in the air which is kind of very exciting for certain leos that i know <laughs> and so this means um rapid progress for those who don't know you know in astrology cancer gets the bad rap all the time of being like overly emotional and then nurturing you know and taking care of others and you know being um giving themselves to others doing things you know cancer is always there for you they represent the part of the zodiac that takes care it's the foundation of the zodiac you know it's your life foundation from which all things springs forth it's like the well of life you know that you need so that you can move forward and ascend and but there's more to cancer than than that particular energy i mean cancer is a 
remarkably dynamic sign. And this card alludes more towards the way cancer physically moves through life. Cancer is a very aggressive cardinal sign. You know, they do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> they can, but they move sideways, you know. The crab moves back and forth, sideways, sideways. It's really funny. I still have a thorn in my side. You know, I make so many videos sticking up for so many signs, you know. And Leo, you know, people call Leo all sorts of names, right? And in my video, Why Everybody Hates Leo, I support Leo. I tell everybody, you know, to chill out. Like, if you were as gorgeous as Leo and good at everything like Leo, you'd probably be a little bit like that, too. I know I would. And so, in the cancer energy, and... Um, so many signs dump on cancer for certain, you know, for being so, you know, caring, which I don't know why you dump on anybody for being so caring, but like, there's more to it. Uh, can oh, here, let's go back to this, it's really funny. Some of, I saw some people, some pretend astrologers on YouTube, they started a store and they were selling all this cancer stuff. Um, I still, I still have a bee in my bonnet about it. Can you get a bee in your bonnet? Yeah, I got like some bees in the car. <laughs> it's a, whatever, Sonny. It's a, and they're like trying to say that a, a crab and a lobster are the same thing. I mean, it's so fucking stupid. It's not even funny. I don't know why anyone would listen to these fucking idiots. But, and normally I would apologize for my language, but it's so beyond stupid. It's not funny. It, like they, they don't say everybody has deserves an opinion. Not really. <laughs> So lobsters move forward, right? <laughs> Crabs don't. Crabs move side to side. And that's the energy of this particular card. It's an extremely fast card. You know, the story has already begun. You're already on your journey, Leo. You've already left the kingdom. See the kingdoms in the background. Just like some other cards, you, you know? Like... Anyways, all of this stuff happens outside of the kingdom, so to speak. If I make it, I'm getting a little sidetracked. But watch this. See? The kingdom's in the background. You see? Kingdom's in the background. Leo, you've already left the castle. You know, and you're on your journey and you're speeding through. The only problem in this whole thing, you know, the kingdom is coming apart. But the only problem in this entire situation here is that you can't really talk to anyone about it. That's the problem. Especially for a sign that likes to, to tell everybody what they're doing. And that's the only warning. But having said all of that, Leo, you are super lucky in love for all of December. You know, just watch out for change that's coming. Love is on the horizon, and you are going to fall in love over Christmas. And it's going to be nurturing. It's going to blindside you. It's going to come right out of the blue. And you're going to have the absolute most romantic, hopefully, cross the fingers and let out a big, loud, Leo, ah! <laughs> Leo, roar. And know in advance that it's quite possible that you're going to have the most romantic holiday season that you've had in a long time. And that's the action. From the sunny side down net, I'm Sunny reminding all Leos, please share the video. Uh, have a super wonderful month of December, and I'll see you guys soon.